Hi there, my name is Alison Crawford. I'm the Schools and Literacy Librarian for Western Bartonshire Libraries and I'm here to tell you a little bit about this year's Summer Reading Challenge. The Summer Reading Challenge is a national initiative that takes place every year across the whole of the UK and its aim is to encourage children and young people to continue reading over the summer holidays. Um, sometimes there's a bit of a dip in reading over the holidays because let's face it there's lots of other exciting things to be doing um, and this is a way for us to kind of try and encourage people to keep reading a wee bit through the holidays. Now the name challenge I feel is a wee bit misleading because it makes it sound like it's something that's really really difficult and actually the summer reading challenge is incredibly easy and I know that every single person that's watching this right now can do this challenge and can complete it. So all you have to do to complete the summer reading challenge is borrow and read six library books. That's it. Six books. The only rule about the summer reading challenge is that the books that you use have to come from a Western Barnshire library. So if you want to read other books at home over the holidays, fantastic, go for it, that would be great. But they won't count uh, for the challenge unless they are a library book. Okay, so that's the only rule. The really good thing about the summer reading challenge is the person that gets to choose those books is you, not me, not your mum and dad, not MD at home, not your teachers, you. You get to choose exactly what it is that you want to read and it can be anything. It can be fiction books, so story books, it can be non-fiction books, books that are full of facts if that's what you like to read, it can be comic books or graphic novels, it can be picture books, um, it can be really big, thick, difficult books or it can be really wee, skinny, tiny, thin, easy books. It can be a book that you've always wanted to read or a book that you've read a hundred times before. It really doesn't matter. The only rule is that it has to be a library book. Now, those books can be uh, physical books that you get from the library, but they can also be in a digital format. So it could be an e-book that you download to a phone or a tablet or a computer, however it is you want to do it, and you can read it that way. Or it can be an audio book that you download and you listen to um, someone else reading that story to you. These all count. Absolutely anything counts as long as it comes from a Western Barnshire library, you can read. Every year for the Summer Reading Challenge there's a different theme and this year's theme is Ready, Set, Read and it's all to do with reading and sport and physical activity so it's all about different ways to exercise your body and your mind over the whole of the summer holidays. Um, there's a Summer Reading Challenge website that has lots of games and activities and competitions and various different things where you will be able to follow the characters throughout the journey uh, for this Summer Reading Challenge theme and you'll also be able to do that with your collector's cards when you get them from the library which I'll tell you about in just a minute. Summer Reading Challenge this year takes place from Saturday the 24th of June all the way through to Friday the 1st of September. So it's actually longer than the summer holidays themselves. It's around about nine or 10 weeks that you've got in order to complete this challenge, which makes it even easier than if it were just over the summer holidays. Now you can join at any point during those dates. You don't have to join on Saturday the 24th of June. You can join at any point throughout the summer holidays. You could join a week before the end of the challenge if you think that you can read six books in a week, that's not a problem at all. So it's completely up to you how you do it. You do have to be a library member to take part in the challenge. If you're not sure if you're a library member, all you have to do is go into any of our branches and ask and they'll check on the computer to see if you are. If you are already a library member, that's fine. You can just start borrowing straight away. If you're not, all that needs to be done is a wee form filled out. So you will need an adult with you there to sign that form and then that's it, you're a library member and you'll have access to all our library resources, including our digital resources, so things like our e-books and e-audio books, um, e-graphic novels, comics, all different kinds of things that you can use, as well as borrowing the books from our library. You also can use our libraries for the computers and you get free Wi-Fi in them as well. There's lots of different activities and things going on in our libraries as well. For the Summer Reading Challenge, if you would like to join, all you have to do is go into your local library and ask to join the Summer Reading Challenge. You will be asked to fill out a little form that has some details on it and it's really important that you give us those details because uh, I'll tell you a little bit about that, particularly about schools in a little minute. Um, so you fill out those details and you will get a Ready, Set, Read collector's folder 
each time you bring your books back throughout the challenge, you will get some stickers to add on to that that helps you to kind of uh, solve some puzzles and answer some questions and do some kind of interactive game things along the way with the challenge. Uh, so each time you bring those back, you'll also get another little kind of, we do like wee things, um, wee incentives for you uh, as you go through the challenge. Every single person who completes the challenge will also get a medal and certificate for completing the challenge. So it's a really easy thing to do to sign up for. All you have to do is go into the library at any point throughout the challenge, ask to join the Summer Reading Challenge and the, the library staff will get you sorted. In Western Bartonshire, we run a Summer Reading Challenge Championship for all our primary schools to take part in. We're slightly changing it this year. Previously, we had it whereby this, the winning school was the school that had the highest completion rate per capita of the school role. We're changing it this year, and what we're looking at this year is the school that has the biggest improvement from the previous year. So it's not necessarily about the number of people taking part, it's about the number of people taking part compared to the previous year. So we'd like to see a kind of running improvement across all our schools across each year for the Summer Reading Challenge. Now the winning school, as well as being crowned the winning school, will receive a trophy and they'll also receive some books for their school based on the theme. So this year's theme, Ready, Set, Read. So it'll be books based around the theme of sport and exercise and games. Uh, and you'll also receive a special secret prize that I can't tell you about just yet, but it's a really awesome prize for your school. So Primary Sevens, this is your last chance to be able to help your school to win this Summer Reading Challenge Championship before you move on to high school. Reading six books over 10 weeks for anyone in primary seven, I am absolutely sure, is not a problem. So this is a really good and a really nice way for you to kind of finish up your primary school career by helping your school to perhaps win the Summer Reading Challenge. Western Bartonshire Libraries we have lots and lots of activities going on over the summer holidays um, across all our branches uh, for all different age groups and for, for families to take part in. Uh, in case you didn't know, I hope you do, but in case you didn't know, everything that we offer in our libraries for our, our children's activities is completely and utterly free so there is no cost for anything, you don't have to pay anything at all, um, you just come along and join in the fun. Some of our activities are bookable and some of them are drop-in and that information will be on our summer programme for you to be able to check. That information will be getting sent out to schools so your schools should be able to pass it on to you. It's also going to be available on our website and it will also be available on our social media channels on Facebook and Twitter. So if you're not already following us, please do at WDC Libraries. Um, any of our activities will be promoted on there and again, once we're, we're having our activities, photographs of the those events will be up on Facebook as well, so you can have a wee look at yourself taking part in the activities if you would like to as well. So as I say, our summer activities, great range of things going on. Please feel free to have a wee look, come along and join us. We'd love to have you there um, and we'd love to see you across our branches in Western Berkshire for the summer holidays. I hope that everyone has a great holiday. I hope that this weather continues to be nice and hot and sunny. Um, but if you are looking for a wee bit of shade, remember the libraries are always a good place to go. Okay, take care everyone. Have a good holiday. Bye.